Due to some challenges we've had in the last few weeks, we are now living in a camp trailer on our property. I'm having a hard time getting in the spirit of the holidays this year because things just aren't working out like I thought. I had a plan in mind and now everything is different. Nothing is the same. And I can't even figure out how to feel. So I decided this morning, it's the day before Thanksgiving, we do have an oven, and I picked up some pumpkin pie mix, and I decided to make a pumpkin pie. I turned on a Christmas movie. For those of you that are Home Alone fans, you'll probably recognize the background. And I got busy making a pumpkin pie. So I purchased the um, complete pie mix. All I needed to do was add two eggs and I whipped them up. And then I needed to add two thirds of a can, no, two thirds of a cup of evaporated milk. Once that's in there, you can mix that up a little bit with your wire whisk, and then comes the canned pumpkin. And this is the complete pie mix, pumpkin mix, not just the puree. And just for the record, this is a large can. I believe they're 32 ounces. I was thinking that just like the puree, this would make two pies. But this only makes one pie, so if you have multiple pies to make, um, make sure that you buy as many of the pie mix cans of pumpkin that you need per pie. Due to my rib injury, doing it right-handed at this point was no longer possible because it was a little bit thicker, so... I'm learning to be ambidextrous this year. I'm getting pretty good with my left hand. I'm so excited to have our trailer smelling like pumpkin pie. Maybe that will help bring in that feeling that I'm missing so much. Once that's all put together, I poured it into the pie shell, and this year I did not do homemade pie shells. Um, I bought just the disposable pie tins that had the shells already in them. They're in the freezer section of your grocery store. And the instructions say that you need to bake it at 425 for 15 minutes and then turn it down to 350 for approximately 45 to 50 more minutes. Now I need to just sit and wait to smell that delicious Thanksgiving holiday smell. There's the recipe. And there is the easy pumpkin pie can, so you know exactly what to look for. I'll leave a link below. Once again, it's the little things. Thanks so much for watching my first video in our Living in a Camper series. Have a great day.